Hi everyone. I am now at the Ilse Jupiter Hub workshop server and I'm going to go ahead and log in. And if you haven't logged in yet, you want to use your email address that you use for registration. And so I used my um, work email to do this. And the first time you log in, the password field is going to be blank. And so enter the password you want to use for this login and all future logins to this um, workshop server. And please also either note this down. I'm always forgetting all my different passwords um, in a safe spot. And then click on sign in. And then the Jupyter Hub is going to load depending on your internet speed and your connectivity at the moment, it might be slower than it was just for me, but it will eventually load. And you're going to be, you're going to, the Jupyter Hub will bring you to a launcher page. That's what this is here that I'm circling on the right. And it's also going to bring you to um, this file browser. And this allows you to have access to the different folders and files you have on your hub. And what I'd like everyone to do, just because it doesn't always log, when you log in, it you don't necessarily navigate directly to your, your home base, what I'm gonna call your home base. Um, it will take you sometimes to where you left off the last time you were logged in. So to go home, um, I. I would like if everyone could do this now. Um, click on this director, this file folder icon here. And I was already there, so when I clicked on it, it didn't change. Everyone's going to have this, this folder titled shared. And this shared folder um, is a place where you can put your notebooks or you can put data and any registered use, user of this Jupyter Hub for this workshop will be able to see it. So I really recommend that that's where you work from for this workshop. And that's because if you have any problems with your notebook, anyone will be able to go in and look at your notebook and help you with that. In other instances, something that's really nice about the Jupyter Hubs, like some of the other ones that have been created for ILSI, is that you can also create notebooks and you can load data onto the server that is private to you. And this is great if you're not ready to share it yet. Um, you can just work on it on your own for a while and then move it into a shared folder later. But for the workshop, let's go ahead, double click into shared and then double click into this folder titled workshop. You can see people have already started using this. People have started using it by either creating their own named folder, and so you can see this one is um, mine, which, which I've used my institutional username, so my initials with a number next to it, to identify it. And people have also just created um, notebooks outside of any named directory here. So for organizational reasons and just when you're working, it's I think it's easier if you create your own directory. So I want to show you how to do that and go ahead and create a directory for yourself while I'm doing this. So hit control and click with your mouse or you can right click with your mouse and then navigate to new folder and click on that. And so you can see I've already done this demo once rename it something that makes sense for you and that will distinguish your folder from other people's and then once you have your name in there hit return and then you can double click into that directory you just created and you'll see nothing's in there yet which is great that's what should happen because <laughs> you just made it and you can create a notebook here and so I'll show you two different ways to create a notebook. Um, for the workshop, <clears throat> we're going to be using R for all our coding. So let's create a notebook over in the launcher. And to do this, you go to the notebook section and you click on the language you want to use. So again, let's do R. So click on R. 
and a notebook will show up here. And it's an untitled notebook. Um, the extension of Jupyter Notebooks is IPYNB. You can also create a notebook by going to File, New, and Notebook. And when you do it this way, you will need to select the language you want to use on this drop, by, drop bar. And so go to R and hit Select. And you can see over here, the kernel that's showing up is R. And so the kernel is really just which coding language you want to use. It's telling the software program which, which code, coding language to expect. So now I have two untitled notebooks. And I don't want two untitled notebooks. I just want one. So let's delete one of these. So to close a notebook, you just close it like it's a window, uh, internet browser window. And I'm going to hit discard. And you can see it's still over here. And sometimes your directory might get, 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 a, get a lot of um, these untitled notebooks accumulating. And I like to go through and delete them because um, that happens to me. And so you right click on it or control click and delete. And it will ask you to confirm and I'm sure I don't want that. So I'm going to delete it. Now we have one notebook set to R and it's untitled. So let's go ahead and name that. So control click or right click and hit rename and name your notebook something that is going to help you identify or remember what's in that notebook. So I'm going to name this um, test notebook. And I'm going to put the date on here. And when you have your name in there, hit return. And it's going to save it with the new name. And it's also going to retitle it up here in your notebook. And so in the future to save it, you can hit this save icon here. And it will simply save it. So next we'll go through how to use these cells.